Hey guys, what's up? It's Carter again, and this is my fourth video, and well, today I'm going to show you guys my oversized cards, the difference between fakes and reals. If you haven't, if you haven't seen the difference between fakes and reals video that I did with Shane, you should probably watch at the end of this. And then I'm going to show you about, uh, about forts. So let me start off by showing you my oversized guys. So first I got three of them. So here, I'll put them up against my... See, here, let me move the camera so you guys can see. Okay. So then, first I got Garchompy X that you saw that I actually had in my real Xs. But I got him in the Garchomp box, so I have the little version right here that is not oversized. Guys, remember when I showed you him in the last video that I just that I made before this? And so there's Garchomp with the same moves. If you don't remember, you can quickly look. Okay. Next one, Charizard X. That I got another box with the Charizard that's smaller. And know what his moves are if you've watched the fall the other video I made after this. He is a promo just like Garchomp is. Okay. And here's the last one. That is act the small version's gonna come out in the new series. I think it's in the ho well I got this one. Mega Kygor. He I got him in the Hoenn collection. He's going to come out in the next series soon. And he does Tidal Storm. Move two energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. This attack does 30 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon EX. Don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. That's pretty good. So those are all of my oversized. You can get them in boxes, like the Garchomp box, Crocodile box, and Charizard. And you can get a Mega, one of those guys, like Kygor or Gruden. I got them. There's primary Gruden right there. And you can see them both in the Hoenn collection. So let me move on to um, full art. Ow. So these are the full arts I have. And I'm going to show you the difference between like regular cards. Let's just take Charizard for example. This is Kashkin too. So I'm going to show you the difference between Charizard and Malamar. So do you see that Malamar is like really shiny? And he has gold outlining. And if you touch him, you make a sound. He has that feeling. And then like, it looks so like different. And then... In Charizard, it looks more like, sort of like 3D. That one looks more like, well, I can't really explain if they're like 3D or not. But don't they look a little different? So there's that. I'll make it on the other side so the light won't be showing on it as much. And then there's Dialga and Charizard. And you've seen the Alga, how good he is. 
And then there's cash skin. You can more you can sort of see the gold a little more since pretty much it shows up with his own color. And there's also a mega cash skin that you can get. Okay, so those are all my full arts. I used to have two more that I traded with Shane, Skarmory and Seismitoad. Okay, let me show you about the fix. I got these from... Well, my brother got these from China. I'm not trying to be mean to China or anything. They're really awesome, and they make, like, good food. They do really good cool stuff. But just about the fakes, I would change that. I would just ask for advice to make real cards from, like, I think it's, like, Tokyo they make them. So, like, so I'll show you them. I'll show you Mega Venusaur and then Weezing. So you can't really see the difference. Or well, there's Mega Venusaur. He's a real card, and then Weezing. If you look really closely, you can see that the graphics are a little white. And then if you check on the back, look at the difference. Isn't this color a little more lighter? This is a little more darker. And they have like a bunch of like more white. And then there's a tiny bit more of those like swirly thing growing around. And if you check the number down here, you can't really see it, but there's number. And then the number on here is a little bit, well, sort of smaller. So. That's Weezing. And there's Watchdog that you can tell a little more with the blue outlining around him. And then the, the, well, let's just turn it over. You can sort of see. You might not be able to see it that well, but it's fake. And then this one is real. You can... You know that. Magneton. And he's fake. And you might have saw this in the other video, but if you rip if you rip the card, you can see that there's like white stuff inside. If you rip a real card, like Mega Venusaur, I would never rip up Mega Venusaur because that was really rare that I got him. Um, if you he there was like no be no white spot, and if you and these are way easier to rip. And then see right there, there's like a white spot. Okay, then there's Heat More. He has. Fiery licks. That's sort of oh, sorry guys. That's sort of good. Mm. Fake. Saving the best guy for last. You can really tell that this is sort of fake. Cause look, the words look different and then the HP is like really smushed together. And there's sort of spaces between the 100 and looks all beat up. And look at the back. This it, it might look real to you, but it's different. And then Girder. He's fake. He's really good. Though I wish he wasn't fake. Okay, and the best for last, Leocario. Looking at him, you might say, like, he is not fake, but check it out. You can't really see it, but he is. Can you see any more whites? 
Well, it does. Can you tell a tiny difference? The pokey, yeah, you can probably tell, but it sort of doesn't look like you can. But it's fake. So that's all of it, guys. My brother Declan has a ton more of fakes since he got them from China. And then that's all, really. Next. Oh, wait. I was going to show you one more thing after this. A, an, a beginner's battle against Tranquil and Clauser. Sorry. So, let me. So you can see there's Drillbur, Honage, Clauser, Drakum, Ducklet, Pan Sage, another Drakum, Paterat, and then Slug. Wait, oops, I said that was Pan Sage. That's Paterat. Two Paterats. Alright, I'll show you battle. Clauser versus Tranquil. Alright, let's see. Who's gonna go first? I think Tranquilo will, since he has lower HP. I usually pick. If usually, I usually pick the weakest to go first. So Tranquil, his only move he can use is Air Slash, and that does 60 damage. I believe it's him at claws are at 40. He's almost done. Use a splash cannon that does 50. And then you can tell that Tranquil wins. But once they, they win, you try it the other way around. And then let's try it the other way around. Use a splash cannon. Air splash. Then use a splash cannon again that takes um, Tranquil out. So I usually do like a matchup between a guy, but I'm not gonna do that now. I usually put in an extra guy, like I would put in Skunkfish, and then they would each battle Skunkfish. If Tranquil lost, and he attacked first, and if he attacked first, and then he still lost, the winner, and then they battled, and then Tran and then Clauser won at least once. Clauser would be the winner of that match. So, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.